What's going on everyone? Welcome back. Today we are in Medina, Ohio, and we are getting ready to check out a spectacular home from Old World Custom Home. So let me turn you around, I'll tell you all about it. Y'all need to fasten your seatbelts for this one. This thing has got a kitchen to die for. Like the island has its own little pet island. You know what I mean? Like you can pull it out and it's a nice little cutting board. But anyway, so this is the Stone Crest, again by Old World Custom Homes, brand new builder for us. And this home features four bedrooms, three full bathrooms, two half bathrooms, a four car garage, and all of that is sitting inside of approximately 4,078 square feet. Now, when it comes to the price of this home, it does start in the low 700,000s, but with all of the finishes, like the finished basement, and just some of uh, the nicer selections throughout this home, it's probably gonna be up in the millions. Alrighty, so nice foyer. Just as soon as you walk in, you're gonna see a lot of wood throughout this home, like wood accents and uh, a lot of like uh, darker metal, almost iron type uh, fixtures, which is pretty neat. But great big space here in the foyer itself. Very grand feeling. I love how you've got the doorway right here framed with, with this nice natural looking wood. You got the tile on the floor and then just plenty of space to, to kind of put things. And then as soon as you walk in around the corner, you've got a little coat closet and we just kind of begin to get into things. So quaint little coat closets, not real big, but just the right amount of space if you have guests over. And then next to that, you've got this little powder room right here. And I say little, but it's actually quite spacious. It's very wide. You got a great big vanity, some fun little sconces on either side, and that's the only lights in here. So it's definitely moody. And then from there, you enter into the living room, which has this gorgeous fireplace. The ceilings in the living room aren't quite as tall as like the, the dining room and kitchen area, but still absolutely incredible. This is the focal point for me. Like I look at this fireplace and I'm just like, oh my goodness. I love how you got the cutouts on either side so you could put like stack all your wood and then it just kind of goes all the way up to the ceiling. Get you over here in the corner so you can check it out. So really nice and spacious feeling. It has some beautiful floors running all the way throughout it. Uh, definitely complements the beams going throughout the home. And then, well, I've already teased you a little bit with the kitchen. The kitchen, the kitchen is it. So we're gonna, that's the bee's knees back there. So we're gonna go ahead and go over here and spill the beans on the master bedroom, which sits just to the right of the fireplace. And this thing is, over here on this side of the house, all by its lonesome. Nice big master bedroom. You've got the huge tray ceiling, again with the wood accents. Plenty of windows going throughout here. Just a really nice room. I like the chandelier. Looks, looks neat. And then from there you come into the ensuite. Gorgeous soaking tub sitting in between the two vanities and you've got some almost lightsabery looking sconces on either side of the mirror backside you got a huge walk-in closet with the tile going all the way up to the ceiling Ooh, you got the double shower heads you got the removable shower head you got the jets over here the thing is a fancy See what's behind the door. A linen closet. Little, I say little a lot, it's just what it is. <laughs> if it don't look little and I still say little, it's just because it's habit. You got the water closet. And then all the way at the back, you've got this great big 
walk-in closet, but this actually sits right up towards the front of the house. So it's at the back of the ensuite, but at the front of the house, kind of uh, probably right behind this wall would be your foyer, so. But this thing is gigantic. All right, now, yo, I am so excited about this kitchen. I walked in here just to set my stuff up, looking around for some information on the home. Um, and I was just walking by and I, I saw this little doohickey. And I was like, what in the world could that be? So I pulled on it. And it opened up into this. How cool is that? So you got like a huge little cutting board right here. Now I want you to check out how close this is. You've got your gas grill and you've got your cutting board. So you can just be sitting here and then throw it into your frying pan and you are good to go. So that is super sweet. It's even got the hidden trash can drawer. Got some shelves on this side, maybe some spice racks. I don't know if we'll find any or not, but then it just tucks away nice and neat inside of the island so anyway that tickled me a little bit on this side you got a little drink refrigerator or you can put your wine bottles in there got some trays that slide out from these cabinets so i'm banging things around don't go don't go breaking a million dollar home tim <laughs> uh. That would be the stuff, you know what I mean? That would scare the crap out of me. You got your microwave over here on this side of the island, and then we'll kind of work our way back around. So again, you've got uh, the range. You've got this huge range hood. A couple cabinets on this side, not too many. All of the big cabinets sit on the opposite side over there. And then let me back up a little bit so you can check this out. So behind us, you've got a couple more of these trusses, but they're all exposed with the great big light fixtures and all that fun stuff. So very grandiose here in the kitchen. Countered kind of wrap up into the backsplash, which looks super cool. Man, where are the spice racks at? Ooh, these are nice too. You can pick these up and move them. Now I wonder, because these are over here, can I... Ooh, I bet if I pulled this whole thing out, I could shift them all down. Is that it? Can I get to them all? Oh, there we go. It's got a little handle over here. I don't have it all the way. There we go. Man, oh man, this, this thing has got it all. Now let's see if I can put this contraption back. So that slides in, then that slides over, and then this slides back in. Oh man, I'm in love. All right, cool. I'm glad we found another trash can drawer too because I was going to say that the one right up underneath of the cutting block uh, would have been a pain in the neck just to keep opening that whole thing up. Got some pendant lights hanging down, looking out into the front yard. Beautiful undermount sink with another little chopping block over here. Tons and tons of, what is this? Dishwasher. Yep. So it's got the, dishwasher's got the panel on it. That means one of these have to be the refrigerator. But we've got some other things too. You've got a little fancy little bread box or appliance garage. Any mini? Are they both? Oh, oh man! All right, geeking out on this kitchen. This is by far the coolest kitchen we've ever toured, for sure. Now I started to open this up, and I think that this is a. Oh, it just pushes a whole pantry. Oh man! And that one really is hidden. Like there's, I would have thought that that could have been some more cabinets, but 
So super nice, little Heidi pantry in here. And then, oh my goodness, even more little pull-out drawers. Now, none of these cabinets go all the way up, nor, I mean, you would need a ladder to put some stuff up there, but gorgeous kitchen. All right, then past that, you've got I don't, it's two different dining room tables sitting right next to each other. So maybe this is just kind of like a place you sit and kind of hang out. I don't know which one's the fancy dining table and which one's not, but looks like you socialize a lot in this house. Got some pendant lights, more exposed trusses. Sometimes I just, some of these homes, they get me, I love them. Just to have the opportunity to be able to kind of peruse through homes like this makes me happy. Anyway, all right, coming out onto the back porch, you've got a nice little ceiling up here, kind of a big space. You put a little grill out here, a little seating area, and just kind of hang out. And then we'll get back here and check out the rear elevation uh, of the home. So it looks like they've got hardy lap siding back here on the back. They had a lot of stucco and stone up on the front. But another great big home. We just toured one a little while ago. It was kind of the same color palette on the exterior. And, uh, but when you walked out back, like it looked like, it might have been a couple videos back, like a compound. This one I like, it actually looks like the back of a house. All right, so. We've still got tons and tons of stuff to get into. Let's see. All right, so sticking downstairs, you've got an office right here. You've got the French doors. And this office, it is massive. Got a super cool light fixture. Great big windows. Some llamas or alpacas, I'm not real sure which. Getting ready to start doing up our office. Jen gave me the reins uh, to do with it what I will. So pretty excited about that. I'm not sure. I've got some ideas. We've already picked out the color. It's gonna be like a dark navy blue. You know, I need to get to my my little zen place when I'm in there working. But other than that, super excited. But coming into this is like your your mud room. You've got all these lockers. You've got some storage down here on the bottom back behind us got a little place to drop the keys with tons more storage this is your junk mail drawer <laughs> and then some more cabinets let's see huge closet store all your winter stuff or seasonal items in here or just your shoes and jackets. This is like your own personal coat room. And then the other one up by the front door was for your guests. Through this door, you come into the garage. So you got four car stalls in here. Nice and big. Let's see, I don't think there's any anything super special in there. Sometimes there's little hidey rooms. See what else do we have? Another storage closet. There is a bunch of storage in here though. And then coming into the laundry room. So plenty of cabinets. You got a nice big wash basin. I like this wood up here too. I think that looks really good with the black. And back behind us, you've got space for washer and dryer then a little folding table up above that love it a little spot to hang up all of your freshly pressed garments and then just tons of storage and i like the tile too almost like a, a soapstone kind of sleet gray thing happening all right upstairs downstairs upstairs we'll go upstairs so upstairs, this is where uh, the three secondary bedrooms are. 
and all of this sits, of course, on the opposite side from the master bedroom. But when you get up to the top of the stairs, you've got your first bedroom door right here, and then a little corridor that uh, has a few things happening throughout it, but we'll get to that. Coming into the first bedroom, this one sits up towards the front of the house. Another fun little light fixture. Nice big step-in closet. Kind of goes all the way down. Both of these are like full-size doors too. Just to give you kind of an idea of how big it is. And then this one is connected to the other bedroom via this Jack and Jill. Got these really nice, these are like Jen's favorite color cabinets. I think that's what we're gonna be doing in our house as well, but she wants to do with the gold pulls. But anyway, enough of that. You got uh, a vanity on either side. And into the water closet, you got the shower. toilet pocket door and then into the second bedroom so pretty much the same size I think closets are about the same and then just off of this one it's like a little sitting room, a little loft area, a little game room, somewhere for the kids to hang out. And then across the hall you come to, now this bedroom is a lot bigger. This is the third bedroom. Ooh, I think this one's like its own suite. Yeah, I didn't even turn these lights on. Oop, that's the fan. Oop. So it's got its little ensuite. Nice little moody light above the vanity. And then its own shower. And then all the way at the end, let's see if I can turn this on. Not blind you is its closet, nice little walk-in closet. Looks like you got some type of attic access in here as well. Let's see what else. There's one more thing up here and that is this huge little study area. They can do all their schoolwork, got some fun little light fixtures up above that. Then from here, we'll go ahead and work our way downstairs. However, if you are interested in this model or any of the models that we've toured across the country, uh, you can go over to timothyplivingston.com where you can search not only this floor plan, but all the floor plans that we've toured across the country. You can see if they're built in your area, you can filter them down based off of number of bedrooms, square footage, layout, type of home, whether you're looking for site built, manufactured, modular, all that different stuff. And uh, you can find that perfect home for you. So down here at the bottom of this basement, this has got all different types of stuff going on. But right at the bottom of the stairs, this one anyway, has plenty of unfinished storage space. This is also where all of your utilities are. So you've got, let's see, you've got a water heater over here. You've got your furnace. There's a water treatment station, and then you've got all the electrical components and a sump pump down here as well. It's like two sump pumps. Now, I'm sure this uh, could be customized, so if you didn't want this much space, I'm sure they could fix it up a little bit different. But then the finished portion this is where you'll find the second half bath, little powder room, whatever you want to call it. But you got your vanity, 
Nice gray, another little moody one, I like it. I like it a lot. There is a big old wet bar. Now this, I feel like this needs to be something. It needs to be like a little secret door somewhere, but there's not. Anyway, so you've got a huge island, plenty more cabinets and drawers down here. Got your little sink, another little beverage refrigerator, and plenty of places to sit on this side. And then along the back side, man, you have uh, plenty of counter space back here. You can put all your, your drinks, your mixins, all that fun stuff. I really like this too. Gives it a, gives a little age. Is that like patina? I think that's, might be patina, might not be, I don't know. Anyway, and then all the way at the back, they put themselves a little kind of media area. So I'll come down here and have movie nights. There's even more storage behind this door, which is basically, see I would, some of this stuff, I mean, some storage is good, but I think the other side would have been plenty. But I guess over the years you start to accumulate stuff and then five years from now you'll look at all this and be like, dang, <laughs> I need more storage space. But anyway, and then you've got these columns right here that kind of separate the bar area from a little game room area, which is super cool. All right, y'all let me know what you think about this home down in the comments, this kitchen right here. Uh, it is definitely one for the book. So I'm gonna have to take some notes, show this to Jen. Maybe she can get a few ideas from it as well. Anyway, thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch this video. Uh, if you do want any more information on this model or Old World Custom Homes, you can find that right there at the top of the description. Or you can go over to timothyplivingston.com where you can search, again, this floor plan or all the floor plans that we've toured across the country. You see if they're built in your area, get price information, filter them down based off of number of bedrooms, square footage, layout, style. If you're looking for that modern farmhouse, you can search that too. Anyway, again, thank you. My name's Timothy. I'll see your beautiful face in the next one.